Oh, there his nose is working. <laughs> a little point. Uh, it's pretty normal for young flushing dogs to hesitate like that. Okay. As soon as he builds up the confidence to pounce. Good job. There's one shot. There's another shot. Good job. Hi, Ethan here with Standing Stone Kennels and we are back with another Sprig video. Sprig is six months old. We are ready to do some actual flushing of birds in the field. If you've already watched everything up until this point, we've done collar conditioning, we've done bird and gun introductions, including the use of live birds so that he's comfortable with the birds flapping and flushing and doing that sort of thing. Now, today this is gonna be his first introduction to actually finding and flushing birds in the field. Walk with me here. I'm gonna show you how we set this first bird, then we're gonna grab Sprig, head to the field, and show you what this looks like. All right. So on his first run today, we're going to actually put these birds fairly close to keep this short, as well as to keep him pumped up and excited and finding birds relatively quickly. This is gonna help us to build on a, um, basically build him up and help him to keep staying focused and pumped. As he gets more confident with this, we're gonna actually take and stretch it out a little bit so he's gotta work a little harder for each bird. There's only about maybe 30 or 40 yards in between each of our birds. Now, I'm gonna show you a couple things that we need to pay attention to. One, we need to know where our wind is at. So I'm gonna take one feather and I'm gonna drop that feather and we can see that feather took this way. I don't know if you saw that or not, but we'll do a couple more here. We got the wind coming straight this way. So that means we're gonna to have to bring him on the downwind side of where we put this bird. Now we need to pick a place where the bird's gonna want to stay. Chucker usually stay in clumps of grass pretty good. Um, and then we're gonna take and tuck that head under its wing and hold it here till it falls asleep. Or make a little spot in the grass here. This will make kind of a cone type of, that bird's gonna wake up and it's gonna sit right in that spot that we've just made for it. Then it has a escape chute to try and fly out. So I've got one bird set here. We've got two more set down there. And as long as they're still there when we get there, we're gonna help Sprig find them, get downwind of them, and then flush them. Now today, we're only using Kent's um, black powder blanks. We are only blanking these birds for him. The blanks are a little bit quieter and we wanna make sure that he's got a good understanding of flushing, he's excited, and then I will shoot the blanks. The next time we bring him out, if everything goes well today, we'll move into actually killing the birds over him for him to pick them up and bring them back. So let's run and grab Sprig here and then we will hit the field. All right, big guy. We're not looking for a whole lot of obedience or anything special. All we're gonna do is encourage him to get hunting with some encouraging talk. Okay, buddy but not too much. If we talk too much, we're gonna pull our focus, um, his focus back to us as opposed to, to going out and finding birds. Now, everything, um, this will be pretty much the last thing that I'm gonna talk about to begin with here. Uh, everything thus far has been directly related around us. Obedience, place training, retrieves that come back to us. So I would assume he's gonna do a little bit of this, paying attention to us until he learns that there's something out there to go look for. All right, let's get started. Okay, buddy. This is one reason why it's important to know where your birds are, so you can help this young dog. We've got the wind in his face. You can already see him. You can see him turning, getting kind of a nose full here. Good. Oh, he lost it. He's coming back. Oh, there you go. Nice turn. He's got to learn how to use this. It's uh. Nose is on the front of his face, but he isn't born knowing exactly how to use it well, so. Our wind has shifted a little bit. It's kind of coming more this direction. But he's, oh, he's figuring it out. Where are they at, buddy? Where are they at, buddy? Our 
The bird's still in there. Still sleeping. Okay. Okay. I'm going to pull his attention to this here. Good job. Now, that bird sat down right over here. We're going to go help him find it again. Come on. Also, you saw there was no shot. He wasn't 100% sure what was going on. I've got the bird walking in front of me. There it goes. Good boy. Good boy. Good job. Yeah. Now, in that situation, it was a little bit hard to see with the taller grass, but he caught wind of it, charged in there, and worked just past it, but the bird flushed out anyway. We're going to move on and see if we can find the next one. All right, big guy. You can see me kind of help guide him with quartering by quartering myself. He's kind of sticking with us so we can teach him the patterns that we're looking for by making the patterns ourselves in the field. I'm going to go with a little kennel point. You're supposed to be a flushing dog. Stop and let him go to the bathroom. Good. All right, let's go. Now, to remember which grass clump I put this in, I think it would be this one. I believe I've spotted our chucker. So now we've kind of got, uh, and this happens sometimes in training, we've kind of got some dead wind. Keeps shifting around on us a little bit. Can't quite make up its mind right now. It looks like it's coming this direction, which means we're gonna have to bring him on that downwind side where our bird is right up in front of us here. Come on. Okay. Oh, there his nose is working. <laughs> a little point. Uh, it's pretty normal for young flushing dogs to hesitate like that. Okay, as soon as he builds up the confidence to pounce, good job. There's one shot. There's another shot, good job. No hesitation out of him. Stayed right on that bird's butt, which is perfect. When he realized that uh, he couldn't actually catch it. Oh, well, he didn't realize that yet. He's still looking a little bit. But he's coming back to us. Good, good boy. That was cool, let's go, come on. Now we should see a little more spunk, maybe learning that he can get out and find some stuff, but so far this has been an awesome first session for him. Now our last bird is gonna be down here. And if you saw in that last bird, he was actively chasing, and that's when I actually pulled up and I shot those couple blanks, always watching him to make sure that he wasn't paying attention to the gunfire, that he was staying focused on that bird. All right, buddy, let's go. Should have one more bird down this direction. I used this big ant hill over here as my land marker. Good, okay. We can help cue him. Should be somewhere in here, I believe. Let's see here. Oh, there he is. You see him getting birdie here. boy, fetch him up. Just encourage him, keep him on him. Good, fetch him up. <laughs> okay, get him. There we go. Good job. 
Good job. Now I didn't shoot on that one just because he kind of stopped for a second, not that there was any real hesitation, but it's always important with those young dogs to be paying attention on if we should be shooting or not shooting. That's gonna prevent us from creating a problem. Uh, we don't wanna have to try and fix gun sensitivity, so we watch and make sure that we don't create a problem in training by keeping our dogs focused on the task at hand, not paying, paying attention to the gunfire, that is key. All right, I'm gonna call him back up over here. Good boy, good boy. That was an awesome first session. He's really starting to figure out how to use his nose in the field. We're definitely gonna work on him expanding that search a little bit, not relying so much on us, but this was a great start and I think he is going to be ready to bring back out here and shoot some birds over him. So stay tuned for that. Now guys, remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook so that you don't miss any of his upcoming videos. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.